Hey guys, welcome to another video and in today's video we're gonna have a look at CR Droid. Now a lot of you have been requesting me to review this ROM. I was planning to use it for two days but ended up using it for four days and uh, it has been really really interesting. And the highlight is in the last three days I've got three different OT updates for this particular ROM and uh, I've had a few bugs as well. So more or less this is a third video in the five point ROM review system. Let's quickly go ahead and have a look how much this scores and we will soon start comparing ROM scores of one with other. So before we do that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. At the same time, here's a card to my second channel that is Kratos390. Go ahead and check that channel out as well. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kalash. Let's review CR Droid. Alright guys, so welcome to another video and as you can see on the screen, the wallpaper is for CR Droid. So the first thing that we're going to check about is appearance and aesthetics. As always, appearance and aesthetics has 20 points. The first point in that is the default launcher. Now this is more like a pixel launcher. As you can see, it looks very, very clear, very, very minimalistic and as you can see, I have customized this ROM to my taste, but if you swipe to the left, you do have the Google Now feed, which I really, really like. And overall, if you will have a look, this is very, very fluid, very, very smooth, but that's not what we are talking about. We're talking about the default launcher. So if you long press on the home screen, you get settings, widgets and wallpapers. So let's go to settings first. Very, very limited options over here. You have icons, so you can enable notification dots, small customization here home screen you can change a lot of things when it comes to home screen so yes you can enable and disable the google feed search bar can be at the bottom you can set the number of rows columns spacing date font style date format so that's a lot of customization app drawer has a few customization options as well if you go to miscellaneous you have notification gestures call from recent view and stuff like that so more or less this is a very very good launcher it allows you to use custom icon packs it has a lot of customization i'm using this phone since four days never felt the need to go to nova launcher now what that leaves us with is a complete three out of four when it comes to the launcher score next up we have the theme engine now let me give you a gist over here this boy is going to score a lot when it comes to theme because if you go to cr droid settings and if you swipe all the way to user interface you will notice that we have ambient display animations blur display cutout expanded desktop font in fact you can change the font on the go as you can see over here just takes a snap like two or three seconds and without rebooting the phone the font has changed now that is the beauty of a custom rom but let's quickly go to a more sort of a normal font so that we can understand what we are looking at on the phone so all in all out of four when it comes to theme engine i will give it a complete four reason being this particular rom has a lot of customization now Another stronghold for CR Droid is the third point, which is other customization. And when we go to other customization, this is what we are talking about CR Droid settings. So if you have a look, it has all the possible customization in the world that you can ask for anything that you can think of from, you know, the status bar to the signal icons to enabling or disabling voice over LTE to the font to displaying seconds. On the lock screen album art there are you know there are so many things that i cannot probably even cover in one video so again in other customization this baby gets a full four out of four next up when it comes to custom roms we're going to talk about a very very important aspect that is substantum support now why is this a part of the rom review well because if there are some roms like pixel experience which don't have built-in theme engines and they support substantum really really well in that case it could be really useful but in the case of this ROM that is CR Droid, it is not really required. But as you can see, Substantum is installed. I have installed Magisk for root and it works just fine. There are a few errors here and there. So overall, out of four, we will give Substantum support on CR Droid a solid three. Now coming to the last aspect of appearance and aesthetics, overall fit and finish. 
If I were to score this ROM when it comes to overall fit and finish, I would give it a very, very strong and solid three because it covers everything when it comes to the look and the first appeal of this particular ROM. So let's see here. We have three points in launcher, four in theme engine, customization four, substrandum three, and overall fit and finish three. So out of 20 points, this gets a very, very solid 17. So if you're someone who's looking for a ROM which looks beautiful and allows you a lot of customization, well, this is it. Now let's move to section number two, that is stability and performance. So the first thing that we are going to talk about here is network connectivity and I will give it a solid three for network connectivity because as you can see voice over LTE is working on both the SIM cards. Wi-Fi speeds have been great. I've not really had any problems in low network areas. I've not really had random reboots or call drops and stuff like that. So when it comes to network connectivity, I will give it a solid three. Next up, we're going to move to lag. Now this is a very very important aspect when it comes to any ROM because even though you use a Snapdragon 845 or a Snapdragon 855, something like a Xiaomi MIUI might lag or might have some tearing here and there but not with this ROM. If you can see the fluidity from the time I started this phone, it is extremely smooth. I've not had any lags in games or in the UI or anything of that sort. Apps launch really really quick they are held in memory properly and yes i'm using the oneplus gestures and as you can see even the recent menu is pretty smooth so at least in lags i will give it a solid four out of four now let's talk a little about the gaming performance and as you know most of the time the only game that i play on this phone is pubg mobile half of the time i'm playing it on my pc but sometimes i do play it on my phone i did play a couple of games today and uh, overall i did not have any issue at all so in xiaomi's miui even with the game booster it might give you one or two frame drops here and there but i'm happy to say that uh, this is by far one of the best roms to play games with now i'm yet to test at least 10 different roms for this device but so far i will give it a complete four out of four because the device didn't heat up it didn't really lose a lot of battery and the game held up really well when it comes to frames per second so in gaming performance we will give it a solid four out of four now next up we're going to move to benchmarks now this is something all the custom roms for the poco have been suffering with now as i said Synthetic benchmarks don't really transform into an impression of a real world performance. That's exactly the best example we have right here. Reason being, we scored 247,147. Wherein if we were on Xiaomi EU or some Xiaomi Beta, we would score near 300,000. So that's a staggering 50,000 less compared to the stock ROM. And even if you compare it to the ranking, you will notice that there is something wrong with the kernel optimization or Something else, I don't really know why custom ROMs score so low, but if you see, uh, normally a POCO would score 296, that's the average score, and we are scoring all the way down to 250,000. So that's my device here that's next to a Samsung S9 Plus and stuff like that. So when it comes to benchmarks, I will give it a poor one because even if you make it to 280,000 well you can still get away with the two or three but when it comes to benchmarks you're just going to get one from me and the last option that we're going to talk about in stability and performance is heating and throttling out of four when it comes to heating and throttling on a usage point of view of last three to four days i will give it a solid three because of course this is not an ic device which stays cool with this particular rom it does heat up but not to the point wherein it heats up in miui with game booster so it is still cool so out of four we're gonna give it a solid three so let's do a quick recap of stability and performance we've made up to a solid 15 that's correct 15 out of 20 now when we talk about a number which is between 10 and 15 for me in any rom the rom is very close to being usable and a little buggy so 15 is just right there at a good number but not the best now next up we're going to talk about a very very important aspect for a lot of you mobile users there that is the camera in which we will be covering another you know five points so by default this rom comes with basic camera application which doesn't give you portrait mode which doesn't really give you any fancy features no 4k recording nothing so what you can see over here is i have installed gcam but of course we are not going to judge this particular rom 
based on Gcam because that is an additional software. Just like the Pixel Experience or some other ROMs, this is not pre-installed in the ROM. If we have a look at the gallery over here real quick, there we go. Now, as you can see, these are some of the pictures which were clicked with the camera of this particular phone. And I just wanted to show you a small, small comparison. This is with the flash off stock camera that is supplied with the ROM. This is auto mode in which the flash goes on and see what Gcam does. It was an auto mode. The flash could have been used if the application thought it needs to, but it clicked one of the best pictures out of the three. So if you're using this particular ROM, I would highly recommend go for Gcam because slow motion works and portrait mode works. Night sight works amazing. And you can also install ANX camera. But overall, when it comes to photo, video, low light photo, low light video and extra features. These are five points across the board which have four pointers each. We will just give them a two each because it doesn't really do a great job but doesn't do a miserable job as well. Now that leaves us with 10 points when it comes to the camera section and when I talk about 10 points in ROM review system at smartphone tutorials, well, in terms of camera, it is not doing that great. So if camera is very, very important to you, you can install Gcam or ANX camera, which is basically the MIUI camera. All right, so in the next section, we are going to talk about the battery and charging. So two sections over here, one is a battery backup and charging speed, 10 points each. So first up, let's have a look at the battery backup. If we go to battery over here, it says discharging, apps are running normally, six hours was the last full charge, six hours back, and the screen usage has been two hours and 50 minutes. So when we talk about battery backup over a period of 24 hours, I would get a screen on time of around five to six hours, which is very, very close to MIUI and uh, with the fluidity and stuff, out of 10, I would give it a very, very solid seven because remember our benchmark is MIUI 9 with Android 8.1. That gives us in the neighborhood of eight to nine hours of screen on time. Now, next up, let's move on to the charging for which I will connect my power bank. Fast charging works perfectly fine. So in terms of charging speed out of 10, we will give this ROM a solid eight because this is sometimes faster than the stock MIUI ROMs as well. So eight and seven, we get a solid 15 when it comes to battery backup. So you know what to do when it comes to battery. If you're looking for a ROM that gives you good charging speeds and battery, this could be one of them. So the last section overall opinions, the first 10 points are for bugs. Now talking about bugs, WhatsApp has been giving me a problem. Now I don't really know if it's a WhatsApp issue or a ROM issue, but every now and then the ROM would freeze on WhatsApp and one more application that is Snapchat in such a way that I would have to drop down and hit the settings button and then maybe it will give me a not responding screen and then I can close out of WhatsApp and one or two small bugs here and there. So I will give it a moderate six out of 10 when it comes to bugs. And the last section is updates. So in terms of updates, we will give it a very, very solid eight because as I said, in the last four days itself, I got three updates. So that's six plus eight, 14 for the overall opinions. And what we are going to do now is we're going to calculate the total and let's give it a star rating. All right, so now we are towards the end of the ROM review. And uh, before I conclude this video, there is something that I would like to share. A lot of you have been telling one comment that I read stated that a ROM review should be more about updates and what features are included. Now guys, this is something you can go to XDA and you can read it. This is something you can read it in the change log and features can be notified to you on the ROM page itself. That is not the goal of ROM reviews at smartphone tutorials. What we are trying to do over here, we have a set of numbers on the screen. We are going to use a ROM for a few days and we are going to give you a final score. And at the end of the, you know, maybe a month or a couple of months, we will have at least eight or 10 different ROMs, which will have a final score and a star rating. And when we will have that final video out, out which will have 10 ROMs compared, you will come to know that over a period of two months, I did compare a lot of ROMs and which is the best. So that's basically going to be your quick answer, what you need to do in terms of stability, gaming and whatnot. So when we talk about the final verdict for CR Droid, it did score a moderate 71 out of 100. Now, what this means is we will give it, well, I will give it two and a half stars. Now that doesn't mean that the developers are not good. They're not doing a great job. There are many aspects of this ROM, which probably you will never see in some other ROM like customization. But for now, 
In this video, this is Kailash signing off at Smartphone Tutorials. Until the next one, keep smiling, take care, goodbye.